it's awesome to be with you. I have had a lot of questions about my setup. How do I get out of the rain? How do I get out of the sun? How do I keep it small enough that I can truck it around with me, but large enough that I look substantial? If an event is just a single day or even just a couple hours, this is my absolute favorite setup that I've put together over the course of several years. have a way to transport your stuff that doesn't have you carrying really heavy loads. Because remember, we need to save our arm strength for all that face painting. It all starts with an awesome director's chair. I love having a back so that the kids can slide back. I love having a lower bar so that they have something to step onto. And then I really want a sturdy frame. You can see this one is really kind of boxy. It's my favorite. And then these pockets on the side, super helpful for holding my water bottle or a mirror. Then I wanna have a stool that I can sit on. This is my two tier system. I always want my hands to be at eye level when I'm painting. So if it's a little kid, I'll sit and the kid's in the chair. If it's an older kid, I will stand, which keeps my hands working at eye level. Then if it's an adult, I'll have them sit in the stool that I've been sitting on and I will stand. It really saves my back and it saves my shoulders by trying to maintain that distance to the kid. Next, we need a table. Depending on the event and how much I'm doing, I will choose either a two foot table or a four foot table. I really like being able to use the little table that comes on the director's chair for whatever is for my personal needs. If I have a snack, I can put it on that table, keeping my professional table strictly professional. You also want to look for equipment that is very lightweight. There's a lot of hauling even with a wagon. I really like to have things that are durable. I pay a higher price to have like reinforced aluminum. I really feel like a clothed table looks nice, but wind drives me crazy. And so taking the corners and just tying them around the legs of the table to each other really helps the table still look nice, but I am not having it fly up and cover my paint in the middle of a job. Once I have these three basic pieces where I want them to be, I like to go ahead and start working on what is gonna be around. I like to use an A-frame. When using a canopy 10 by 10 setup, you have all of the amazing tent space to hang signs on and stuff. And I feel like an A-frame gives that extra feeling of space. It lets you define your boundaries a little bit. And as long as the event allows it, it lets you put something in the walkway that says, hey, take a second to look over in my direction. Now, this amazing wagon has served its purpose in getting all of my stuff here, but its job isn't done yet. I wheel it either behind my chair or next to my chair, and it now works like a trunk or a drawer where I can tuck anything away. If I have a backpack that has my snacks or anything, adults know that is the painter stuff, don't mess with that, and they'll be quicker to keep their kids away from your things than if it was just left on the ground. Whenever I'm getting ready for an event, I'll ask my husband, hey, can you get my equipment in the car? And he'll be like, is it an umbrella setup today? And he knows that that means this is what I want. And so on the director's chair, on the back, right or left side, sometimes it's bungeed on, I will strap the bottom pole of a beach umbrella. And I just leave that on there. And so it makes it so fast to set up when all I have to do is extend the umbrella and click it in you wanna be really careful that you choose the right umbrella. You can see that this one has a beautiful reflective coating on the inside that really helps when I'm painting at night because if I shine a light up onto that, the reflective coating shines that light right back on my paint, on the kid, it works like a charm, it's absolutely beautiful. You also wanna find one that has a vented top. Not only does it keep you cooler, but when you're working in windy conditions, that wind has somewhere to go. You know, <laughs> sometimes I feel a little bit like um, I'm at NASA and we're counting down to takeoff. Now you wanna look at your signage. Often I'll have a PVC stand or something that I can put some signs up on. If it's a corporate event where I'm being paid by the hour, I like to just have a sign that I can hand to the kids. But this is the basic setup that keeps me comfortable, it keeps me very visual, and it keeps my paints out of the water and out of the sun. So how long does it take to set this booth up? 
Let's find out. setup as my cake. Now of course this cake definitely needs some icing. I like to have something that sets it apart for whatever booth I'm at. Sometimes it's a bowl of candy and sometimes it's something more elaborate decorations. I've had little lights hanging around and stuff but this is the core. Being able to have all of your needs met, shade, wind protection, signage, uh, you get to personalize it and make it your own. But I hope that this has helped you see what I like to do.